so if we go 10 kilometers above the earth i don't think our human bodies can survive without proper protection if we go 100 kilometers above into the space we need big space suits and something to avoid the radiation poisoning we need lot of protection we cannot go to moon and survive without huge suits our bodies are not going to survive any longer without lot of protection on any of the planets either mars or anything and if we go further out into these big giants like saturn and jupiter we can't handle the heat we can't handle the cold we can't handle the chemicals our human bodies are very much fine tuned for us to live on this earth when the conditions are really good i don't think we have experienced ourselves outside as collective species anywhere we have predictions of how those things are and we have experiments and we have science that is helping us understand what it could be but we know for sure that there isn't a place out there other than this earth where we could survive without any protection because the chemical composition is different in some cases we don't even know how it looks even outside our own solar system so when we are sending voyagers one of the objectives of voyagers is to find what it is really like because we have the best guess theories available what makes us think that these interstellar objects that are coming from a different solar system somewhere or maybe a different galaxy for that matter coming from somewhere else is quite similar to what we are looking in our solar system or quite hospitable for us to take a look at it or make sure that they are okay to be part of our neighborhood we don't know we don't know the chemical makeup we don't know what they are we don't know whether we can survive and coexist with those objects just if they are in the solar system itself so there are several unknowns and we are quite familiar with the space and how complex the space is it's a very hostile environment we need to have an extraordinary curiosity to follow every interstellar object that is coming in our solar system and make sure we understand the chemical makeup uh, see whether they are technological whether they are natural we need to this is the only way we can learn about those objects we cannot go there in our human lifetime there isn't a machine we could send into another solar system dig down into the planets or uh, asteroids or comets out there and figure out the chemical makeup or how they were evolved when they come in to our solar system this is our opportunity to take a look at them so i'm going to keep taking pictures the comet is coming close to the earth it's going to be very interesting when we start looking at this comet since it is going to be flying pretty close by i do have couple of ways to take the pictures i do wanted to take pictures with maybe more than one telescope and see if i can get a better a uh, picture out of this comet i do wanted to understand if i can see any more details than what i am already seeing right now and i will show you those pictures as well if you are new to this channel uh, please click on the subscribe button and notifications button so when i post new astronomy videos comet 3i or any other videos you will get a notification uh, let me show you the pictures that i have taken so far and how different this comet 3a atlas is looking 
when compared to other comets that we generally look at it so let me show you how typically a comet looks like so this is comet lemon and typically comets are like icy snowballs right so when they get closer to the sun they get warmed and they release all these gases and you can see the water vapors you can see the gases flying in the back of the comet so typically those are the comets with the long tails so this is comet swan and you can see clearly the tail all the way from top maybe you can even see a little bit here too right quite a bit of tail for that comet this i pictured it in my backyard a few days ago this was done october 23rd so let me play this for you and show you how these comets are so you can clearly see these comets have a dirty snowball on the top they release the gas dust and you can zoom in and see you can zoom in and see what is coming out of these comets they are pretty signature style release of gases you can see all that it's a beautiful you can see this one it's coming out do you see that this is all the gas coming out of that comet i don't know if you can see it on your cell phones but i hope it's clear enough that there is a big thing coming out in the back of that comet so these are comets the comets are typically going to look like this so let me show you interstellar comet 3a atlas So this is 3i Atlas core picture that I had taken. I cropped it to a close by and that's the comet. I can slow it down for you. That is not a comet. It doesn't look like one. Probably is if we just expand the definition of a comet that's not atmosphere that's literally the jets and the coma that is flying and that's our 3a atlas I only took the front portion of it there is a little bit of tail in the back it just goes by but I was more interested today to focus on that area alone to see if it is going to make any sense to me when I look at that comet and I was working on a different project to see what this really is and it occurred to me that we are calling this a comet as well it needs a like really broad definition to expand to call this as a comet and then i made a video out of this so if you are already a member and who is requesting for images please let me know and i would like to put a link out there for you all download this video you can process it and mention my name or mention the channel's name please if you are going to post it in the social media i'm going to post new videos and new pictures of comet 3i since it is coming close by it's going to be pretty interesting to watch it as well as i'm working on a new video which is going to come up next week It's not about Comet 3i. So, if you are new to this channel for the last few videos, you may be seeing Comet 3i focus, but 
I have a video that I actually I made most of it already. I just need to fine tune it a little bit. But I'm going to post that next week. Um, you know, sometime Monday, Tuesday, whenever we get a little break. Uh, I have my own topics that I wanted to share with you. But if you have more ideas, uh, please put it in the comments. And as you must have noticed, I try to read most of the comments. I try to respond as many comments as possible. Thanks everyone for watching. Please click on the